By 7 o'clock tonight, all that drama had built up as several thousand people arrived in downtown Oxford for a vigil that featured a lot of elected officials, including the governor. Unfortunately, there was a shocking interruption. Jason Colthorpe is there now from Oxford tonight. Jason, this was just heartbreaking to watch how this developed tonight. It was scary, to be quite honest, Devin. And when the vigil began, it was so moving. But if you didn't know just how on edge this community really was, all it took was some confusion to send thousands of people running, many of them high school students who felt terrorized all over again. A crowd of thousands stood silent in downtown Oxford, holding candles as bells rang out at 7 p.m. And then voices soared. We are Oxford, we're Oakland County, and no one will shatter that love and this peace this community deserves. But about 15 minutes into the vigil, stay calm, everyone, it's all right, right. it's okay. Right. It was terrifyingly obvious how fragile this community is. A medical emergency caused a panic which dominoed through the crowd and thousands of people turned and ran. Many people left after that, but the vigil was able to resume a few minutes later to honor and remember Hannah, Madison, Tate, and Justin. You have the love of every teacher who cares fiercely about their students. You have the love of every parent who's holding their kids a little tighter tonight, and the love of every Michigander who calls this great state home. We will not be defined by the tragedy. We will be defined by the people that are standing next to us today. We are not Christians or Muslims or Jews or atheists or Hindus or Buddhists. We're not Republicans or Democrats. We're not progressives. We're not conservatives. We are Wildcats, Oxford. <laughs> And they were able to regroup and end on a positive note. That's the highlight. The other thing, no one was hurt, we're told by police, when all of that commotion started with someone who fainted in the crowd. And as it uh, was developing, someone was yelling for help. What happened in all of that was there was a loud couple of clangs on a metal riser, and it was that sound that started people moving in the wrong direction, and they started running. And I was about halfway back in that mass of people, and you could not hear anyone saying, stay calm and telling people what it was on the stage. You just saw all of these people running, and it got worse and worse. And I'll be honest, it was pretty scary for a, for a good few seconds there when no one knew exactly what was happening, especially just the reactions from people who, many of these people who were in tears, especially the kids. But it just goes to show you just how much healing still has to be done here in Oxford. Back to you, Devin. How on edge everyone is, which has led to yeah. these threats in the schools that we're going to talk about in other parts of the county here in just a minute. All right, Jason.